<laughs> Most people, sober or not, do not have a life that they are proud of. And I have the first real job I've had in years. And I have a boyfriend. I quit! Sam, I don't think you're ready to be in a relationship. You don't? You shouldn't be asking me that question. I shouldn't. I think you should get out of here. You do? Please stop. Sorry. You're watching Black Tree on TV. Only on Thank y'all for um, allowing me uh, allowing me this. Um, first off, first question. How was it um, filming, shooting the season? How was the chemistry on set? Fire. <laughs> yeah, no, no. It was, it was it was really it was really really good. Um, we we had like the the, the Saturday nights going or Friday Friday nights Friday 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 nights. Fridays Friday. and Lilies. Yes. Fridays Fridays and Lilies. Fridays at my yeah. house. Yeah, we yeah, played yeah. a lot of a lot of fun uh, mind games. I remember. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. There's yeah, a game no. called Puzzle. Black Magic, and I am still trying to figure it out. <laughs> oh, no. I almost played that with a different group of people, and it did not go well. I know. Yeah. You, can't, you can't deal with anybody but Sophia leading it. She yeah. kept us together. And um, that's how she does does it on set and does it at work yeah. as well. She yeah, is, for sure. She is our guiding light in every yeah. single way. Yes, and, absolutely. And all of y'all, all y'all play a wonderful uh, um, synch synch synchronicity role and connection um, on set, how it plays out. Um, Y'all's chemistry is so well put together and that's also credit to, to the uh, producers of the show. Um, mm -hmm. So I wanna give y'all y'all flowers um, before, we, before we continue. Also, I have a, an important question, um, Ms. Sasha. Ms. Sasha how, how is it transitioning um, from, from what, you, what you were playing in the past into, into this role? As far as like roles before single drunk female or, sure, sure. um, yeah, no, I mean, I, I honestly, I find that every role, even though it may seem so different for me, it's more about the study of, you know, a human being. Yeah, um, yeah. I took a lot of psychology in college and I was just talking to someone about this earlier today, but starting off with uh, miracle workers, you know, this kind of anxious mm -hmm. person and anxiety and and what does that look like going into uncorked and playing this like right. woman who has it together and is really supporting her man and then coming into, um, you know, other various roles and, and love life uh, which I love, and uh, being that, you know, friend who has it together and now transitioning into single drunk female, which is like, not only am I supposedly the friend who has it together, but right. she really does not. <laughs> um, so it, it's been fun for me, if anything, like that tra transitioning into different roles with characters who have such different backstories is just fun for me. And with this season, Brit, you know, goes through divorce and she's dealing with uh, being there like in this newly uh, still rehabilitating but rehabilitated friendship with Sam and and inviting and more love and friendship between herself and Felicia. and. It's actually, it's lovely to be in such a female heavy project, I would say, where all of us women, while we all have our strengths, we have our weaknesses and we're messy and we're flawed. And that's been, you know, just honestly a blessing, if anything. No, it is, it is. And I was gonna ask, is that is that self-healing in, 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 as well as playing this role? Do you, do you find um, that it kind of, you have to kind of dig deeper into your personal self as well, as far as um, healing and just even just overall uh, life? For me, I find that it's less about, while, while every character I've played has had some, you know, denomination of myself or how I see things, because how could it not? I'm the person right. who's infusing the character with what I think or what I've researched, but I really do enjoy studying other people and trying to figure out, like, what is it that makes them tick in this way? It's like, it's a, it's truly like a mind game for me, and I go really deep into, like, watching documentaries and, you know, see, just listening to people at restaurants. If I have my headphones in, guess what? I'm listening to your conversation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I am listening to your conversation. <laughs> it's true. It's true. And, uh, and I enjoy taking that and thinking, huh, what made them say that? Huh? What made them do that? What must it feel like? Cause you know, have I been married and going through divorce? No, but can I imagine what it's like to feel the pressure and weight of being a first generation kid, which by the way I am, um, can I infuse that into why I might try to please everybody? Yes, and then what it might feel like to take that a step further and get married to someone to please everybody and then have to break away and say, no, it's time for myself. Absolutely, I think a lot of people have those um, 
arcs throughout their life in different ways. And so it's just a blend of, you know, personal experience, but also mostly studying like, ooh, what could that come from? What would that look like? Right. Um, right. Yeah. Have I thrown tampons in the toilet in real life? No. <laughs> Did I want to? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Miss Miss LMH, um, you, your charisma, your your spontaneous, your your lovely big heart on set um, that shows on on camera. How? What are some? What are some moments that were challenging for you uh, filming this season? That's a good question. Um, you know. We every day, I think all of us show up and want to make the work better and make the work as uh, as funny as possible, but also as grounded as possible. And I think, you know, for me intentionally this year, I really wanted to go into it with Felicia of giving her more vulnerable dynamics than being Sam's ride or die and the person who always has the answer. And so that was a day-to-day -day look and a day-to-day -day, uh, retraining my brain of how to look at a scene and how to accomplish that. Mm -hmm. And I would say the challenge was sticking with that groundedness and still finding the comedy. And that was constantly a thing that I think we all teeter mm -hmm. on um, and what is so great about the show and yeah. it's not, but it's not an easy thing to do. You know, it's a right. very conscious, very conscious choices in those way. in in that way of, you know, wanting to still hit that vulnerable heart spot and still make you laugh with a great one liner. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Garrett, um, I have a question for you, brother. Mm -hmm. Um, how is it, um, not necessarily carrying the weight of, of the culture, but just being a, a, a black man. Um, with being and, and being supported on this cast how is it uh, meshing how is it um, do you feel do you feel strangled do you, do you feel like you're able to kind of um, play that strong character that you really are um, that you and that you really instill that there is still still within you is that able to come out um no, I, I, it feels good uh, to be honest uh, not like strangled or anything like that at all you really do like show off your blackness and, and masculinity through whatever character you know i i play mo for the most part yeah. um and having a, a secure base of like your own black masculinity in your i mean in yourself kind of just it'll just show regardless yeah. you don't really have to you know put a put a put a pin on it or or a harp on it or anything like that it's just like just honestly just being secure and then showing up for for work <laughs> if i'm right. being uh honest and then also they're very hmm they're they're very honest as far as like the writing goes and showing that off where it's just like having him in church and and showing that side of him uh really does help because I mean I also did grow up in the church so it was it was very familiar to me um definitely sitting in a pew felt very familiar so all of that stuff just takes you back to your blackness in general. So you're you're having these set pieces and these situations um, to show off where you where you came from and and who you are as a person at your your core beliefs and all of that. So definitely a a, a point to the writing yeah, yeah. Uh, helps a lot, and then just you know again showing up for it. And a question to all y'all: what is some what is some advice um, and um, that y'all can give to young actors, actresses out here that are trying to do the same thing on the steps that y'all are. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell it's, him that. It's, it's tough. Man. It's tough. <laughs> come on, just come on. You no, know you no. want to try it. <laughs> yeah, I think the advice I would give is um, knowing yourself mm -hmm. and having a very strong life outside of your art. Mm -hmm. And having things that bring you joy and bring you fulfillment that are not just the acting part. All of that is yeah. so important for you to bring in what you can bring in front of the camera. That life experience, I think, is way more important than any class you're going to take 
Uh, mm-hmm. So really developing your life outside of the art is the the biggest piece of advice I'd give to someone. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. I'm big on trying to find it because it's still a struggle to this day to find joy outside of the work like can sometimes be difficult you know being being real honest right here like there are times where I find myself in a little spiral and I'm like oh wait that's right you're just focusing on the work you're focusing on the work what else is outside and the little blinders come up and it's like oh that's right there's a whole world out there um that uh is is fun to enjoy I think for a long time, at least for me personally, when I was so tight focused on the goal, that's when it wasn't really happening. And as soon as I kind of like took off these, you know, side blinders and just started living life and not making everything so precious is when I noticed that things started happening. And that's a huge generalization, but I really think it speaks to what Lily said about just, you know, find joy outside the work and be true to yourself and, you know, and take risks. Yeah, absolutely. Eh. absolutely. And yeah. Thank you so much. Um, sorry. I'm, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna, you know, say the exact same thing they were saying. Um, <laughs> yeah, like you, you really do have to just enjoy the journey, um, in, in any any way, form, or shape that you can, uh, because honestly, you'll get to your destination and you'll be like, man, it was really fun hanging out in a crummy apartment and like just kind of uh, like <laughs> yeah. shooting the shooting the shit with your your roommates or whatever yeah. but i i definitely definitely think that you should just like every once in a while just look up and just say hey i'm i'm actually like pursuing something that a lot of people don't pursue man that's and that's great advice from all y'all um, i appreciate y'all so much thank you for your time and man y'all killed it this thank season you. continuing uh continue success thank you thank, thank you, you.